What is it then you think you need to see out of this group? Because I, I think the world is astonished when you see six nil results of Spain beating them and losing to North Macedonia in a World Cup qualifier. Yeah, Julie, you're absolutely right. What we want to see, especially all the German fans, they want to see a united team. They want to see a team full of spirit, positivity, and, and the willingness to suffer. And this is all about a tournament. A tournament is you can start to kind of be together for six to seven weeks now at least. Uh, so you have to build chemistry, camaraderie, um, and you have to go through up and downs. Obviously, they're coming already from a low <laughs> going into that tournament because of the last three years. Um, but they have to build a group. They have to, to connect. You know, And the fact that Thomas Müller is coming back and uh, Mats Hummels, uh, that is the big hope that these two experienced players, that they kind of build that group, get every behind, everybody behind the big goal uh, to play a very positive tournament. And with a very positive tournament for us Germans, you pretty much mean you've got to win the tournament because that's just uh, <laughs> the expectations of the German population. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to ask you that, Jürgen. What is the realistic expectations after the debacle of 2018 and the struggle since and Mats Hummels and Thomas Muller coming back in after Yogi Love retired them? And, and So what are the expectations and do you think Joachim Love knows his best to live in at this point and how do you think that looks? I think Joachim Love um, knows his best 11 already. Yeah, I, I think, you know... Um, there's a clear picture of how everybody wants this German team to step on the field. Obviously, Mats Hummels and Thomas Müller will be part of those uh, starting 11. You know, then you have players like Toni Kroos, like uh, Ilkay Gündogan, Gündogan, who comes from a very, very good season with Man City. Um, and there's so much talent and uh, uh, quality in that team. So all they need to do is really they need to, to build the group. They need to figure out how to build such a strong chemistry and such a big uh, will, a willpower that uh, carries them through the tournament. And uh, yeah, the expectation is really, I mean, it's from the players as well as from the public, is uh, go out there and make us proud again. You know, make uh, Russia 2018 forget, because that's been a real disaster for the entire nation. And prove a point. I think, you know, if they don't win the tournament and they play excellent games and they make it up to uh, at least until the semifinal, the people will be okay with that. The people will be will say, okay, you know, I'd be on the right track again. But semi-final, I would say, Craig, that's the minimum for us. The standard is the standard for the Germans. Those are championships. Jürgen, thank you so much. We appreciate we talking to you throughout the tournament. Good to see you guys. It's, it's, well, it's that pretty sounds interesting. About right. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it, I think as long as it's not a debacle like yeah. 2018 was and they play some good football and we see some younger players for Germany and they have a plan and they go deep, it might not happen for them, but I think that would be acceptable in Yogi Love's last tournament. Anything else? Not sure. Their first two games, though. France and Portugal. Yeah, yeah. well, they're easy games. It's, but it's, it, but uh, let's, let's talk about that. Is, is, that, is, that, is, is that a gift and a curse? Because if you do beat France, this whole thing no, can no, change. No, uh, no, no, it's a curse. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.